Aida for allowing my terminally ill daughter to smoke and drink? Hello. I am the, 42, father to a 16-year-old girl. About three months ago we found out via a visit to the hospital that our daughter had a late-stage form of brain cancer and were told that survival was not likely. We tried anyway, but despite our best efforts we found no improvement in the cancer. My daughter is aware of this. Well, recently, my wife was looking for a hair straightener my daughter had borrowed and found a few grams of marijuana, an elf bar vape, as well as a partially empty handle of Tito's vodka in her bedroom. When confronted, my daughter confessed to have been using these substances for about a month at that point. She said that since she knew she wasn't likely going to survive past 18, she wanted to try these things socially, and assured us she was being responsible with them. I myself am a user of these substances, as we live in a legal state. I do not vape, though I do smoke cigarettes, drink, and will occasionally roll myself a joint. While normally I would not want my children using these, I thought I could make an exception due to the circumstances. My wife, however, disagrees. She only drinks a glass of wine every now and then, and dislikes nicotine and marijuana. We had a conversation and came to the conclusion that she would be allowed to do these things under my supervision, as long as they are from retail stores and dispensaries and not street dealers, though my wife remains adamant she should not be doing them at all. Aida? Hospice nurse chiming in. First NTA. Let her experience what she can while she can still enjoy it. I'm assuming she's either got DIPG or glio both devastating. Just be careful if she's taking narcotics for pain or benzos for sleep, anxiety. The systemic depression combination of those drugs mixed with alcohol really can be a deadly combination. Second, try within your means to check off bucket list items for her. It gives her goals and reasons to get out of bed in THR morning. See if you can get her with make a wish. They don't just do Disney for little kids. Third the MJ can help with pain and appetite. And fourth, if she doesn't want to treat, do get her admitted to hospice services. They can be such a help with things you don't know you need right now. Hospice is not just for the very end. Studies show that people on hospice live longer than those that do not get admitted till the very end. The goal is comfort and quality of life. Best wishes to your family edit. Thank you kind Redditors for blowing this up. If you are so inclined, donate your time to your local hospice as a volunteer. Elderly and sick people are always jonesing. For company. It's a great way to give back. She's going to die young? Let her do anything she wants. For real. I am a San Diego native. As such, I spent many a teenage weekend in Tijuana nightclubs. When I was 18, a friend of mine had terminal brain cancer. In a heartbreaking but beautiful moment, his mom drove him to my apartment so that he could have some effing fun. We drove to the border and walked through the turnstiles into Mexico. He, with his skinny legs and quad cane, made his way into Tijuana at a glacial pace. A cabbie drove us to Revolucion, which is the main drag. He didn't charge us. The thoroughfare was blocked off to traffic for a holiday. Our driver spoke to the police and got us an escort to the front of a nightclub. We drank and danced and kissed girls. In the end, the cops gave us a ride to the border and we went home in the wee hours. I'll never forget my friend's mom watching with tears streaming down her face as she dropped him off. She watched as I helped her son into my apartment. We made that kind of eye contact that silently spoke volumes. She seemed to simultaneously implore me to look after her kid and show him the time of his life. At his funeral she hugged me and told me that I was a good kid despite being a delinquent. NTA. I'm so sorry that you can't ground your daughter into oblivion and then laugh about it in 30 years when she's a mom. A little vodka won't hurt her, and a little weed might help her. Nah. She is going to miss out on so many things. Letting her have this isn't going to hurt anything. Have you three sat down and made a bucket list with her? I know she probably won't get to do everything she wants but I'm sure there are a few things you can fit in. And my condolences op. I can only imagine the heartbreak you and your family are going through. YTA, dot for getting Tito's vodka. Come on, at least try the higher end stuff. Nothing wrong for wanting to try some vices. Poor mom is prob coping. Hopefully you can make some fun lasting memories and avoid any more conflict. I can't make a judgment on anybody here. Cancer is the aw. Uh, up. I'm so fucking sorry.